lettuce and germs. I'm sure you can tell what time of year that it is. If not from the giant array of clock radios on your screen, then certainly by the superimposed date and time. Unfortunately, I was really hoping that that dishwasher over there would be finished with its cycle. It's not. Now, hopefully it'll be done by the time uh, we're set to sound all of these off. There's 24 of them here. The lighting's not that great. Maybe you can tell. Get something of an idea for which ones we're using this year. Obviously, I'm in a different location. I don't really know how I feel about shooting it here because obviously there's people on either side of me. I mean, that's the bedroom, but you know what I mean. And also above. That uh, may not be uh, too thrilled with the idea <laughs> of 24 alarm clocks sounding off all at once. It's only like maybe about 15 seconds, but still, some people have no sense of humor. And yes, I have the TV on. I was hoping that maybe there'd be some kind of New Year's programming on, but it seems like I have struck out in that regard. And also, interestingly, that camcorder, that is the Panasonic Omnimovie EV320D, is working fine. But my GE, sitting over there, the CG9911, seems to have suffered a blown or failing anyway, because it does still actually work in Rewind and Fast Forward, but there's a failing belt in it. So what I've done is I've hooked it up down there to a VCR, and we're going to record it that way. I hope that this works out. I get all kinds of nerves about doing this every year. It doesn't really matter how much prep I put into it. And uh, this year I've made the grave mistake of forgetting my hearing protection. And I don't have any here. Unless there happens to be some of the toolboxes sitting over there, so... <laughs> oh, I guess we are just going to do without that for this year. But I'll be right back thanks to the magic of videotape. And we will check in a little bit closer to the big occasion. Oh, and yes. I'm well aware of the fact that that's this 327 for March 27th. Setting that thing is a real pain in the butt. I may not use it again next year. Or I may just purchase a battery for it. For the sake of pointing it out, really for no good reason, I will point out that that West Clocks over there, this one, uh, the so-called daylight feature is starting to work on it. Which means we're definitely getting closer. 13 minutes. I feel like I should be sports casting this. Hopefully none of these cameras screw up. Also, kind of unfortunate, the, um, one of the light bulbs looks like in my, uh, mechanical digital clock over here it appears to have failed, or maybe it got bumped or something. I'll have to take it apart and take a look. Maybe I can replace them. Someone's probably going to suggest putting LEDs in there. I think that's kind of stupid. I'd rather have the actual incandescent bulbs, just because they look better. Oh, we got the ice maker, too. Making noise. I'm surprised that's still making ice. It seems like it's pretty full to me. This year I've taken a different tactical approach to this. I've got everything plugged into a UPS in such a way that I can just hit the off switch on the UPS and hopefully it will shut everything off. And I won't have to go and flip the off switch on all these individual power strips. There's one exception. Uh, that Sony that with the analog face I think runs off of a battery. So. Some clever clog is probably going to point out the fact that the clogs on the camcorders are not synchronized. I have got very little care to do that kind of thing. I did try and get all the alarm clocks synchronized. I don't know how good it was, 
One of them is a head. I don't know if you can actually see it on the camera, but one of them is a head. I've adjusted it accordingly. But yeah, the uh, camcorder clocks are not synchronized, and one of them says 1993. Some clever clock is going to point that out too. I don't really care. Um, I can't actually get it above. I think it wraps around 1999 and goes back to the year 1986. I don't know why. It's the only one I've ever seen that actually does that. But 1993 is close enough to 2023, so... <laughs> it's caught a three at the end of it. Good enough for me. That's how it's going to be. It was stuck in the 90s forever. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Interesting to see how many of these go off, really. The ones with the analog movements. There's only two of them this year. Holy crap. You hear the tape motor noise. Five minutes. Some of the really loud ones from past years, like the Juliet EO 1984, are not here. Last year, I think the mechanical one went off a little early. I know some music goes off early, some music goes off late. We'll see what it is this year. Not that you'd be able to tell anything from any of these cameras. Time goes by so slowly when you're waiting for something to happen. I can't actually see what's going on. Okay, well there's the first one. We had one go off early. But yeah, here comes the noise. Let me get into position to turn this off. This is going to be loud as hell. set all that up. It's so easy to just turn it all off. And I gotta clean it all up. I think I might actually just leave it. Honestly, just, you know, unplug. Wow, you can't even see anything down there. Unplug all those uh, power strips and just leave the clock radios here. It's not like past years where I set this up on my bed and I need to clean it up in order to sleep. So it could probably stay there for at least a little while. And I might want to leave it there anyway so I can get a list of all the clock radios that we set off this year. It'd be interesting to see which ones actually went off and which ones did not because I should have a camera angle for looking at basically every single one. I did try to get it where all of these ones, I think with one exception down there, that one GE that was a little slow, I don't think went off. I don't know if the on went off. On Max Real One, which I still have. Why would you keep it if you think it's such a piece of crap? Because you can't return it. It's a thrift item. One last thing before I go, because I know that some clever clog is going to complain about the fact that this is in standard definition. It's not in standard definition, it's in 720p HD, which is high definition, it's just that YouTube doesn't think it is. You know, you can't arbitrarily decide what a standard is years after the standard's introduced. The standard's the standard. That's how it is. And if you disagree, then uh, you're wrong. So, there's that. 
But this is something that is fun to do once a year. Gives these VHS cameras a workout. Because obviously if you don't use them, what ends up happening with them is they fail. As is the case with that one. And I presume that eventually all of these will fail. That one's had bad capacitors for I don't even know how long. Probably ever since I got it. The picture's never been very good on it. It's always had weird colored lines in it. But it just keeps soldiering on. And I'm going to keep using it for as long as it continues to work. Alright, I think I've rambled on for long enough. That's it for this video. Happy New Year to everybody out there. Hopefully, uh, you and your loved ones chose to celebrate safely. I suppose if you're watching this video, that means that you did and you made it home in one piece. Here's another year of videos. I don't know what my first video of 2024 is going to be. It might be something I recorded tonight. I might look at that gateway. Of course, by the time you see that video, it'll probably be like April or something, given the pace at which I edit stuff. So, whatever. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. That's all for this video.